everybody, it's Jake Tapper from CNN's State of the Union and factcheck.org. Today we're going to take a look at questionable statements made by Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton at the second presidential debate that spectacle in St. Louis. Let's start with this from Donald Trump. In the days after the first debate, you sent out a series of tweets from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., including one that told people to check out a sex tape. Is that the discipline of business? No, it wasn't sec check out a sex tape. It was just take a look at the person that she built up to be this wonderful uh, Girl Scout who was no Girl Scout. Is that true? When Donald Trump was tweeting about the former Miss Universe, Alicia Machado, did he not say check out a sex tape? Did he say take a look at the person? No, that is not true. There it is, right in his tweet. Check out sex tape. When you denied it, Mr. Trump, you were not telling the truth. And by the way, there's no sex tape. Moving on, check out this from Mr. Trump. This is the 10th or 12th time that he's denied being for the war in Iraq. We have it on tape. The entire press corps has looked at it. It's been debunked, but it never stops him from saying whatever he wants has to say. It's not been debunked. So please has not uh, been debunked. And go I was to HillaryClinton.com against... and, and you can see it. I was against the war in Iraq. Has not been debunked. <sighs> We've done this so many times. Was Mr. Trump in any reasonable, demonstrable, public way against the war in Iraq before it began? No, he was not. Obviously, we all know in 2002, he told Howard Stern, I guess so, when asked if he supported the war in Iraq. Trump likes to cite a January 2003 interview with Neil Cavuto, but in that interview, he does not explicitly voice opposition. You know, whatever happened to the days of Douglas MacArthur, I mean, he'd go and attack either do it or don't do it. He's either got to do something or not do something. Yeah. Perhaps. Uh, because perhaps he shouldn't be doing it yet. And perhaps we should be waiting for the United Nations. So, once again, Mr. Trump's claim is wrong. There is no public evidence of him opposing the war in Iraq before the war in Iraq began. Okay, check out this one from Donald Trump having to do with taxes. She is raising everybody's taxes massively. Is that true? Is Hillary Clinton proposing raising everybody's taxes massively? No, not everybody's. She is in favor of raising taxes on wealthier Americans, and she describes them as earning $200,000 a year or more. But people who make under that, according to Hillary Clinton, would not see their taxes increased. The Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center and the Pro Business Tax Foundation analyzed Clinton's plan and, and both concluded that almost all of Hillary Clinton's tax increases would fall on the top 10% of taxpayers. So Trump's claim that she would raise everybody's taxes massively is false. Okay, on to statement number four. This one has to do with reporting suspicious, suspected terrorist activity. Take a listen. As an example, in San Bernardino, Many people saw the bombs all over the apartment of the two people that killed 14 and wounded many, many people. So is that true? Did people in San Bernardino before that horrific terrorist attack where 14 people were killed and many more injured, did they, quote, see bombs all over the apartment of the two soon-to-be terrorists? According to news reports, there is a neighbor who noticed packages being delivered to the San Bernardino home of the shooters and told a friend that the couple was doing a lot of work in their garage. That friend said the neighbor did not want to racially profile the couple, so she did not report it. There's another worker in the neighborhood who reported seeing well-dressed Middle Eastern men walking from the house to lunch several times, which the worker said he thought was unusual, but also did not report. But in neither of those cases did either of those individuals report seeing bombs all over the apartment of the San Bernardino soon-to-be terrorists. Here's another statement from Mr. Trump. It's about health care. But she wants to go to single payer, which means the government basically rules everything. Hillary Clinton has been after this for years. Is that true? Does Hillary Clinton want to go to a single payer Medicare style health care program for every American? Has she been after this for years? No, it's not true. Back in the 1990s, Hillary Clinton praised the efficiency of single payer health care systems, but she didn't pursue or propose adopting such a system then. And she is not pursuing or proposing adopting a single payer system now. Clinton was asked about single payer health care during the CBS News Democratic debate last year. Take a listen. Back in 1994, you said that momentum for a single payer system would sweep the country. That sounds Sanders esque, uh, but you don't feel that way anymore. Well, the revolution never came. <laughs> I waited. 
did, and I got the scars to show for it. Um, we now have this great accomplishment known as the Affordable Care Act, and I, I don't think we should have to be defending it among Democrats. We ought to be working to improve it and prevent Republicans from both undermining it and even repealing it. So does Hillary Clinton want a single-payer health care plan, as Donald Trump suggests? I have no idea what she wants in her heart of hearts. But has she been after it, as Donald Trump charges? No, she has not pursued it. Not in the 1990s and not today. That statement is false. Okay, let's turn to Hillary Clinton. She has some statements of her own that bear scrutiny. Let's turn to her. This first one has to do with energy policy. Take a look. We are now, for the first time ever, energy independent. We are not dependent upon the Middle East. Is that true? That's great news. If so, are we now energy independent? No, that's not true. So while it's true the last year's dependence on imported energy from all sources was the lowest in a long time, it is not true that we are now, for the first time ever, energy independent. We are not dependent upon the Middle East. Secretary Clinton's statement is not true. It is false. Okay, on to statement number two from Hillary Clinton. This one has to do with nuclear weapons. Take a listen. When I was Secretary of State, I went around the world advocating for our country and negotiated a treaty with Russia to lower nuclear weapons. Secretary Clinton did negotiate a new START treaty with Russia, and the goal of the treaty was to lower the number of nuclear weapons. But here's what she didn't tell you. It has not actually lowered the number of nuclear weapons. In fact, the number of Russian nuclear weapons has gone up. Russia was then below the limit for deployed long-range nuclear warheads when the treaty took effect in 2011, and they've now increased that number, an increase of 259. She kind of left that part out, which is pretty misleading. If you're wondering, by the way, why we did more Trump fact checks than Clinton fact checks, it's because he said a lot more questionable things during this debate. A reminder to all the politicians out there, you're perfectly entitled to your own opinions, not your own facts. I'm Dick Tapper for CNN State of the Union and FactCheck.org.